As you can see, I'm in Minecraft and everything is dark, but if I press a button, everything becomes bright. And that is because of a mod called Full Brightness Toggle. And I'm gonna teach you how to install that mod so you could go dark gold, light gold, dark, and just have light whenever you want in Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's get started with the tutorial. The first step for downloading and installing brightness or full brightness for Minecraft 1.20.4 is to click the second link in the description which will bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install this mod. Now, once in here, I need you to pay close attention. You're more than welcome to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you're just following along the video, please pay attention. What we're going to do now is to scroll down and click where it says collective right here. Within the first paragraph, which you see the collective, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And that is going to launch us over here. This is a mod library that is required for full brightness to work on Minecraft. So not only are we downloading the mod, not only are we going to download the full brightness mod, but we're also going to download the library. Anyways, let's go ahead and download the library first. Once you click on that collective link right here, we'll bring you over here and you're going to look for 1.20.4. As you can see, this mod will work for any mod loader. As you can see, Fabric, Forge, Neo is all together in here. So we could download any of them, right? We don't have to look for Fabric, Forge or any independent one. We could always download everything together. What we're going to do is click on these little three arrows and click on download files next to 1.20.4. Once you click on download file, that will redirect you over here, where you have to wait five seconds for the download to begin automatically. I'm gonna wait five seconds and should just take a second. And there we go, the file is downloading. In my case, it asked me where to save it, but for most of you, it's going to download automatically. Go ahead and drag and drop that collective file and put it in your desktop so we could do this easier. Once you have the collective library, it's time to download the mod. Head back to that second link in the description scroll a little bit down and click on download. If you were to get lost at any moment, you could always read through the guide. The guide is very in-depth and it answers a bunch of questions at the end in case you have any doubts or you have any questions when installing this. The way to download full brightness, same way we download a collective. Again, it's compatible with multiple mod loaders. Go ahead and look for 1.20.4, click on the three arrows, click download file, now I'll redirect you over here and you guessed it, just wait five seconds. After five seconds, your download will start. In my case, it's asking me where to save it but for you, it's going to download automatically. If you're using Chrome, you could probably find it here in your download arrows or your download tab. If you're not using Chrome, I don't know, it's your browser, you probably could figure it out or you could always find it in your downloads folder within your computer. Go ahead and drag and drop full brightness to your desktop and you should have collective and full brightness in your desktop. At this point of the video, if you already have any mod loader for Minecraft, like maybe Neo Forge, Forge or Fabric, all you have to do is add the mods to your mods folder. That's for those of you that have a mod loader already. Now, if you don't have a mod loader, don't worry because I'm about to teach you how to install the mod loader to load all these mods into Minecraft. Anyways, if you already have a mod loader, all you have to do is click on this folder in there, go into mods and drag and drop those two files into the mods folder. Those of you that have a mod loader know what I'm talking about and you know how to add that to your mods folder. Let's go back to here. What if you don't have any mod loader? What if you're learning about modding or you don't have any mod loader in your computer? Well, you're actually gonna need a mod loader to load these mods into the game to 1.20.4. In this case, we're going to use Forge. Forge is one of my favorite mod loaders. You could actually use Fabric and Neo Forge for Fulbright, but I prefer using Forge because I know Forge is working. I have already tried it before doing this tutorial, so I know Forge is working. Let's go ahead and click on that third link in the description to download and install Forge. Like I said, you could still download Neo Forge or Fabric. We have videos on that, but for this guide, we're gonna use Forge. Once you click on that third link, you'll be presented here. This is a very in-depth guide. Again, if you need to read or look at photos, this is a guide for you. But if you wanna follow along the video, just click where it says download Forge here after you scroll down. That will redirect you to the Forge website. And it's very important that you don't start downloading just yet. You have to click on 1.20.4 right here on the top left. Once you're here in the 1.20.4, you could actually click on installer, which will redirect you over here. And you're going to again, wait five seconds. I know there's a lot of waiting five seconds. I don't make these websites guys. I just teach you how to download it. So once five seconds have passed, go ahead and click on escape right here on the top right and that will begin the download for Forge. Again, it's always going to ask me where to save it, but for you guys, it's going to download automatically. Give it a second for Forge to completely download. If you're using Chrome, you have to wait for this little blue bar to go away. And now we're ready. Go ahead and drag and drop Forge to your desktop, okay? As you can see, we now have three files. I'm actually gonna minimize this and move it to the center. We now have three files. Collective, the mod library, full brightness, the mod, and Forge, right? The mod loader. The first step to start everything in here is to right click on Forge, click open with and select Java. Once we click on Java, we're gonna get the installer open. If you don't have the Java option, however, 
and you didn't get the installer to open, I'm gonna leave this in the description, which is a Java guide on how to download and install Java. So I'm leaving everything in the description for you guys. So you don't have to struggle. You don't have to go watch multiple videos. Everything is here. This is a guide on how to install Java to be able to open your jar files in your computer. I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to run a jar fix. A jar fix pretty much is a file that you run after you install Java to fix all your jar files and link them to the new Java installations. I hope that's not too hard to follow. It's pretty straightforward. You install Java and then you will be able to open all of these. If you get any issues after installing Java, then just run the jar fix. I'm leaving both guides in the description. Anyways, let's suppose that you were able to open the Forge installer with Java. Now you're here. What do you do? All you have to do is select install client, which should be selected by default and then click OK. Now let's wait for Forge to install. And while Forge is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are trying to play Minecraft with your friends, even if you want to use Forge, NeoForge, any mods, any mod packs with your friends, Apex Hosting is here to help you. They could actually make a server for you in Java where you could add all the mod packs that you want, all the mods that you want. And guess what? This server is not hosting in your computer. This server is hosted completely online, so you could access it at any moment. You could control the server console through your phone so you don't even have to be at home to change the settings of your server and you will get 25% off if you use the first link in the description. I don't know what else to give you guys, I'm literally giving you everything here. Anyways, let's go back to the tutorial and as we can see Forge has successfully installed. We know that because it literally says it in here. Go ahead and click on OK in here and now we could even delete the Forge installer. The next step is very important. Go ahead and click on your Minecraft launcher and wait for your Minecraft launcher to open. Once we open the Minecraft launcher, if we install Forge properly, we should see it selected in here. If you don't, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. If that doesn't make Forge appear for you, you could always go to a new installation and where is this version, look for Forge, which you have it somewhere in here. Just look for Forge, mine is right here, release 1.20.4 Forge. Click on that, name it whatever you want, and then click on create down here and that'll make Forge appear. But most of us, we have it in here. So now how do we add the mod? Well, all you have to do is again, head over to installations, find your Forge instance and click on this little folder in here. That will open a folder with a lot of files, but you are specifically looking for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. If you don't have the mod folder and I'm actually gonna delete mine, you could always right click, click new, click folder and type M-O-D-S and that will make the mod folder for you. Go ahead and open that folder. And in order to add the mods, all we have to do now is drag and drop them inside. Now we have the mod library, we have the mod, close this folder, go back into your Minecraft launcher and launch Forge by clicking on play, click that you understand the risk, click play again and wait for Forge to open. Now that Forge has opened, we could always head over to the mods button right here and we will see that full brightness is here, which means that it is working. Actually, if it lets you open the game, it's probably working already. Anyways, once we have full brightness in there, we're still gonna test it in a world, click on single player and you can always use this on multiplayer, but I recommend you don't use it on a server that you don't have permission to use it on. That's why I always recommend to make your own server using the first link in the description. Anyways, once you're in a world, as you can see, everything is dark, but if you press the letter G, everything goes bright. And yeah, I don't have any potions. I'm not using anything else but the full brightness mod. If you press G again, everything goes away. If you press G again, everything comes back. So that is pretty much how to download and install the full brightness mod for Minecraft. If you combine this with X-Ray, you'll be insane because you put an X-Ray on, I'm actually gonna show you guys. If you put an X-Ray on, go to your resource packs. If you don't have X-Ray, I'm gonna leave you a video at the end of this video to go ahead and download X-Ray. But if you combine this with X-Rays, you could see all the way down, you could see every ore and we go deep underground. You will see what I'm talking about. You can see all the ores, you can see everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoyed this mod mainly. I'm actually gonna take away the resource pack. And if you wanna add the X-ray again, just go ahead and click on that video which should be coming up on the screen right now. That was pretty much how to install full brightness mod. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, bye bye.